Select the correct setting for your fastener size by removing the four pins from the tool. Move the template so the corresponding fastener size matches the base hole, then reinsert the pins. Ensure the handle is locked in the back position. Center the fastener strip in the tool. The fastener strip should fit snug and have equal distance between both ends of the tool. Insert the belt into the tool, ensuring that the belt is pressed all the way against the back of the fastener. Double check that the belt is centered on the fastener. This can be done by measuring the distance from the edge of the fastener to the edge of the belt on each side. Depress the cam levers. To decrease the clamping pressure, turn the lever counterclockwise. To increase the clamping pressure, turn the lever clockwise. Do not over-tighten the cam levers. When the cam lever is depressed with adequate pressure, the fastener should sit upright. Using the Alligator Staple Gold Class Driver, depress the tool trigger two to three times in each guide block. Note, for blocks that only have one fastener, drive the tool one to two times. When performing the initial drive, follow the preferred sequence, center, outer, middle. The staples will now be partially clinched. Squeeze both release handles. Move the handle from its initial position into the finishing position. Deliver two to three final drives with the gold class driver, moving from left to right across the tool. Remember to drive the tool only one to two times for guide blocks that do not have two fasteners. Return the handle to the initial position and press it down to lock it. Release the cam levers and remove the belt from the tool. Using belt nippers, notch the corners of the trailing edge at a 45 degree angle. Bring the belt ends together and insert the hinge pin between the two fasteners. If a retaining washer is used, place it on the hinge pin and crimp it with pliers. The splice is now complete.